This segment will show you how to use your spreader, including how to adjust the flow rate of the spreader, operate, and properly maintain it. Your broadcast spreader has an adjustable flow rate to control the rate of output. To adjust the flow rate setting, first loosen the wing nut that fastens the control cable assembly to the handle. Next, slide the adjustable stop tab to the desired setting and then re-tighten the wing nut. To use the spreader, check the material package and the spreader settings sheet included with your spreader for the proper spreader setting and the application rate for your material. Before filling the spreader, make sure to move the control lever to the off position. Then move the spreader onto a flat surface and fill the hopper with the material. Slide the adjustable stop to the desired setting as described earlier loosening the wing nut and then tightening it again. Now you can start the spreader in motion slowly, then move the control lever forward against the adjustable stop to begin spreading the material. Please note, the maximum towing speed when using a tractor is 3 miles per hour. Take care to always place the control lever in the off position while filling the spreader or when stopping or turning to prevent the release of excess fertilizer or other material. Now, here's some application tips. This unit will cover a 4 to 8 foot wide area depending on the material used and the towing speed. To avoid missing areas or striping, make each pass about 5 feet from the previous one, so some overlapping of the spread pattern does occur. For easiest application, spread across the shortest edges of the lawn first, making two header strips so you have a turning area, and then spread the material between the header strips. If the lawn is odd shaped, spread a border around the edges and then spread within that border. Keep the wheel approximately 4 feet from any area you do not wish to spread the material.